it's Rhea, wherever you are and whatever time it is, I hope you are enjoying yourself. So I'm in a really finicky kind of like mood. Oh, actually, okay. Let's let's have some tea first. I forgot I filmed this part. <laughs> Can you tell I like purple? I, I don't know. I just the shot of the purple pilot color, you know, with my purple mug. Um, yes, I I got some tea before or while filming this. And it also reminded me to get tea um, while doing this voiceover because I'm probably going to need it. But yeah, hi. So, um, uh, yeah, so today we are drawing in a rather old sketchbook. Um, the sketchbook I've had for a long time, um, and just every now and then I kind of go to it. It is a mixed media sketchbook, so it's perfect for just about everything that I can think of. And today's process is going to be me, well, as you can tell by the title, I will be drawing my OCs. And, um, and as you've already seen, I'm just zooming through this because um, I didn't want this video to be too long, like I said in I think a previous video. I Some of these I feel like could be a little bit shorter, but this spread I'm not particularly a huge fan of. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so I ended up just speeding up the sketch process. I was actually wondering if I should even film it, to be honest, but um, yeah, so basically this video's process is gonna go through sketching to doing the line arts and the coloring. So it includes all three steps, but of course, because of that, it is incredibly sped up <laughs> um, because I just draw really slow and I feel like a lot of it too um, could have just been like cut out. I don't know. It was a time. Um, I tried filming two videos in one week for the sake of um, like convenience because um, basically it would be kind of hard for me to film next week <laughs> for reasons. So I just went ahead and did two videos um, in one week and I'm also editing them at the same time. It's chaotic. Anyways, uh, yeah, so right now you guys are seeing the sketching process. I'm just sketching out um, my OCs with the Pilot Color Eno mostly, but then I think I switch over to just like a regular pencil. So I'm gonna use Pilot Color Eno and pencil to sketch and then I will go in with, I believe, I want to say microns, but actually no, I think I just used one of the uh, friction pens. Um, like the friction erasable ink pens. I think I just used one of those in black uh, to do the line art, but um, and then I use alcohol markers to color the spread at the end and then some colored pencils. It's a whole plethora of things. Honestly, like it's a multimedia spread, which goes perfectly once again in this multimedia sketchbook. <laughs> um, but yes, let's talk about uh, the content of what I'm drawing. So I'm drawing my OCs as like <laughs> I say Halloween fan service because it's like, you know how it's like um, fandoms or like, yeah, like franchises, sometimes they'll have like uh, Halloween based art around this time of year and stuff like that. And it's just like really exciting and riveting. Why aren't we doing that for our own characters? You know what I mean? If you have OCs and like you don't feel like putting them in like a beach episode get up or like, you know, frolicking in the snow whenever it's winter time. I just feel like it's appropriate. So that being said, as a Halloween enthusiast, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know what? I would love to see my OCs like in, in like costumes and like what they would dress up as. So I just kind of had a field day with it. Um, I like put this together pretty quickly because like I said I was trying to film like this is probably the most intense I've ever had to like film or the quickest that I've had to film so I was just like trying to go with whatever came to me off the top of my head um well I did write down first like who I feel would be what um and we will get into that in a second but yeah I just kind of like noted down my OCs and like what their personality and aesthetic would be and I kind of used that as like a guide. Um, so that being said, with this first one, um, drawing my OC Gisetta, I actually used a reference photo whenever I was sketching her at the beginning. You probably saw me like take out my phone. Um, the other ones I, I'm not going to put a reference photo up for, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have to like, you know, find the photos and just throw them in here, which I'm unfortunately too lazy to do. But, um, all you know is Gisetta is like, 
I wanted to make her dress up as Barbie. I think that'd be super cute, honestly, because I feel like it's a lot like her personality. I'm gonna sit here and talk about my OCs as if you guys actually know anything about them and that I don't have like 500 of them that still need to be like properly thought out and stuff. It's fine. <laughs> We'll get there one day. But yes, yeah, so Gisetta is um, dressed up as Barbie, or I just kind of picked a particular pink outfit because it's not like I can really think of like, like even in the movie, like she's wearing all these different outfits, right? So I was like, honestly, just as long as it's something pink and cute. So I put her in like this blazer and like a tank top dress type of situation. I don't know. I feel like I could go a lot more out, like all out on the outfit, but it's fine. <laughs> um. And then uh, another thing is like whenever drawing her, so in the reference photo, her hair is like a straight, what, not straight, but like wavy. Like it's not like textured as in like natural hair. Um, and so I kind of wanted to draw Gisetta with more like natural hair. Um, it doesn't have to be all the time. I just figured it'd be something nice to like incorporate every now and then. My issue is I'm like incredibly lazy when it comes to like doing any kind of like curls or anything in hair. So, and then I was like trying to speed through this drawing. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna wing it and we're just gonna go with it. As long as it gets the general look down, we're fine. But uh, yeah, so, um, but I liked, uh, overall, I feel like I like the concept. I feel like Gisetta is very like preppy of a person, so it fits her. Um, and then the next two that are um, across from her, uh, you will see one of them is a bunny, and the other one is like a, like like the like the cocktail waitress bunnies, like the bunny girls. Um, they're one of those, and then the other one is a witch, I believe, because um, I just have this really reoccurring bad habit of creating characters that are like a pink and purple duo. Um, it's just one of my favorite things ever. I love like color coded duos of people, like pairs of people. It's just so fun and cute and aesthetic. So I created them this year. I'm sure I sketched them out like before, like maybe last year or something, but I think I drew the first portraits of them this year um, on social media if you want to see. Um, but yes. So they're both very fun characters to draw and this was my first time I think drawing them um, since I had birthed them out into the world with their own portrait drawing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I feel like they turned out pretty cute. I actually think they come out my favorite on the spread. They just have such a fun energy together and um, yes. The purple one, um, I got their hair wrong kind of sort of because their hair is like it's hard to explain to be honest i feel like i'm just getting a little bit more out of hand on these designs but it's kind of fun it's like there's supposed to be a braid going back but it is what it is honestly they're dressing up anyways so it's not like everything has to be accurate <laughs> um so yes a witch and a bunny girl and uh and the the next two below gisetta um, the one that I'm coloring right now, uh, one of them is a werewolf, which is, that one is Hadrius, yes, he's the werewolf, and then Kane is the vampire, I feel like I want to, like, redraw these, because I feel like it was such a fun concept, but I could push it so much more digitally than, um, doing this traditionally, because traditionally, um, basically I'm always going to be limited to my supplies and it's like, I think I could definitely spend more time working with my supplies to get a little bit more comfortable and know how to, to approach certain things. Um, especially for me, like skin tone was an issue that I was struggling with a lot throughout this spread because, um, there's a certain, there's like certain skin tones that I know exactly what they are, but I don't know how to work with it with the markers. And that's mostly towards like the mid to darker skin tones. Um, so yeah. And I also just feel like, you know, digitally you're always going to have like this infinite ability to render things, but traditionally there's always a limit. There's always a wall. Um, but that being said, I still think it was a fun spread to do. The concept, if it's fun, will always have some kind of joy in my heart. So, yeah. And so I drew, uh, Adrius and Kane as a werewolf and a vampire because they're also a duo. 
Um, they kind of irritate each other, but they work together often, so I always love that trope. I think it's a great trope. I think everybody should always continue that trope. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Anyways, <laughs> and then the uh, last two that I draw, they are not necessarily- they're not like a duo, it's just two of my OCs individually. Um, the Tiger Girl. I, she doesn't have a name. A lot of my OCs don't have a name, by the way, because I'm terrible at that. It feels like heavy responsibility that I need to be sure of whenever I do it, but um, Miss Tiger Girl, um, the one with the braids at the bottom, she is- I wanted to put her in a cheerleader outfit because I just thought that'd be really cute. Um, what can I- like, why wouldn't you want to see your own OC in like a cute cheerleader outfit, you know what I mean? And she's a cat girl, so like, what is there really to discuss? Anyway, <laughs> I think she- I, once again, I want to redraw it because it's conceptually so amazing, delicious, iconic, but I could bring out so much more. Um, I think I did draw her. I started drawing her as a- in like a witch costume as well. So, um, we'll see. We'll see if that ever takes flight. <laughs> um, and then, uh, the other person next to her is Aloris. I'm saying that because I actually ended up changing her original name. So, uh, she's one of my older OCs though. And she's the sister of one of my, uh, well-known- or not well-known, but like, one of my like, trademark OCs, I guess. Like, the OC that you tend to draw a lot or, like, you always go to, they, they might have been, like, your firstborn OC. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so she's sisters with my- one of my main OCs. And, um, I decided to draw her as an angel because she is the older sister and she is very angelic. Um, very much, like, perfect- not perfect, but, like, she just has, like, that strong older sister energy that's just like precious and she's very patient um and very loving towards her younger sister and just a iconic role model so yeah executed horribly but it was a fun time you know <laughs> it was going like so yikes to me because what i had imagined in my head versus what was happening due to like the chaos of me not doing traditional art in a while and then also kind of under a time constraint <laughs> and just all this stuff going on. I was just like, oh, this is unsalvageable. Like, this is a mess. Like, what do I do? Um, so towards the end, I just kind of like, I stopped filming and I just like, I added all the finishing touches <laughs> um, off camera basically because I was like, I'm just not, I can't, I can't do it. So yeah, and basically all I do is just add a bunch of stickers and um, colors and stuff, trying to like bring it all together, which is something that I've learned to do a lot when in my current sketchbook that I'm like trying to finish. And you guys will probably see whenever I complete it and do the tour. Uh, which is hopefully done by the end of the year, or so help me God. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, it happens. I feel like it happens to everyone for us, like you to be like, oh, okay, this sounds like a fun concept to do. Let me just kind of have fun with it. And then things just start going horribly wrong because like you're, you don't know how to like use some of your mediums the way that you thought you did and things just kind of go chaotically and yeah. <laughs> But it's okay because that's kind of like how sketching goes. That's how sketchbooks are kind of meant to be in a way. Um, I just, I feel like I've gotten used to it and that's why I'm not really as bummed out as I could be. Because once again, you can always do these things digitally if it, if you really want to like pick back up on where you left off. So yeah, we'll see if I do that ever in the future. I would love, once again, I would love <laughs> to see my OCs, particularly like Kane as a vampire and then Miss Tiger Girl in a cheerleading outfit and um, Chisera as Barbie because like once again I just feel like it fits her so well. You guys don't know what I'm talking about because I hardly really talk about my OCs or go into depth about them. I just kind of ramble about stuff meaninglessly but once again, we'll get there, we'll get there. But yeah, no, this was a fun idea, and um, I hope you guys, if you have OCs, I hope you also do something special for them, whether if it's for Halloween or just, I don't know, any time of the year, any type of like event or something, I feel like it's fun to sort of bring your OCs along because it just kind of feels like you're bringing them to life a little bit more. 
Um, yeah, it's just like they're precious creations made from you. So I think it's good to like look out after them and make sure that they're thriving, kind of like Nintendo Dogs or something. <laughs> Honestly, sorry if this video makes no sense, because like even looking at it right now and doing this voiceover, like I don't know what to tell you guys either. I'm kind of just here. Fun fact, this was actually going to be the Halloween video for the last week of October, but because of how it turned out and because I wasn't really feeling it, it was a bit too chaotic, I will leave that for this week's video. And next week we can have something a little bit more fun and interesting. I'll probably have the preview of it up, but uh, yeah, I kind of look forward to it because I did also film that video and I'm about to do the voiceover for it as well. So I think that one is a little bit more like fun and proper to like close out the month of October for. So look forward to that. But until then, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this, whatever this chaos is. But yeah, so aside from you seeing the end product in a little bit, I'm going to leave you here. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed your time here today, please feel free to leave a like. If you're interested to see more of my content, you can always check out my other videos and subscribe. For reference, if you're new, I am Rhea or Etheria, and I like making art and art-related content on my channel. I do try to post weekly videos, but if you would like more timely updates, you can always check out my other social media linked in the description and also at the end of the video. Until next time, I hope you guys show your own OCs lots of Halloween love, and I wish you a nice rest of your day and or week. Uh, thanks again for watching. Okay, take care.